So you got something against clean drinking water? Apparently. You British CIA or something? Something like that. Thanks. No. No, thanks for coming along when you no, did. No, no. Don't thank me. I'm the one who started this shit storm. What do you mean? Guys like me paves the way for guys like you to wind up here. They don't usually fight back. Most of the time, they don't even realize what we're doing. What? I, what do you mean? We have interests in this region. We? Our countries. The corporations who run them have interests here. So I show up all nice and friendly, offering to get them a loan to pay for our services, which we know they can't afford. Then we build them power plants, waterworks, freeways. It doesn't really matter. And when they can't repay us the debt, we own them. It's all a fuck job. The rebel leaders said we were trying to enslave their people by controlling the waterworks. And they were right. Most of those merciless men out there, they're just trying to protect their children, just like you. So don't thank me. I'm the one who puts your family in harm's way. The least I can do is get you out of the bloody place. Yeah. I know the bill of goods those Cardiff boys sell you. Oh, you got something against clean drinking water? Apparently. It's not safe! There's... What did you get? What did you get? What did you get? Bring more chests! Sir! Please go back to your rooms until the situation is over. Just seeing the lineup. This is a true country in collapse. This is a hyperinflation and socialism reaching its ultimate end. This is a true economic Armageddon. 
Venezuela is in a state of emergency right now. Its currency has been devalued 92% since the last two years alone. And the things we have been experiencing here uh, is it's really like it's interesting. And you brought up the gun free zones. That's the most interesting part to me is no one is allowed to have a gun. And this is the murder capital of the world. So we walk into the hotel at night because we're a little crazy. We're told by everyone, don't go out. And we went out. Uh, there was no one anywhere. It was like a ghost town. Uh, and when we get back, the security guard is hiding behind a door because he doesn't have a gun and the other the bad people all have guns. Yeah. Yeah. Security guards are not allowed to have guns here. There's gun free zones everywhere and criminality and murder and kidnapping is at a level that is extremely extremely shocking no one out on the streets at all i saw this one crazy six foot five 350 pound dude who had his uh hands taped and he was just clenching his knuckles just one dude and it was just like a scene out of the purge anarchy and it was literally like we're being like uh tran you know transported around like okay let's go quickly quickly here 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 you know security guards everywhere but of course as you said we're walking in the hotel room the people working in the hotel are like in Th past three doors, right, through like a little doorway looking when we came in, and they barricaded the doors with the luggage carriers because like they're even afraid. Any, like yeah. that wouldn't stop anyone. So those luggage carriers that the valets have, they just put them all in front of the doors yeah. like, that should do it. Yeah. <laughs> we walked in, and they're like, just just shockingly looked at us and then like quickly went back to their business but they were behind like three other doors that they could easily lock and protect themselves in which which kind of gives me the idea that the government here kind of uses this criminality uses this violence as a way to control the people so people think we need more police we need more government and the criminals here are running around just doing whatever they want, kidnapping whoever they want, murdering whoever they want with pure impunity. Meanwhile, the government sends in their agents to every business, to every private place, to every public park, to make sure that everyone has mandated signs that say no smoking, no guns, and you can't be racist. Well, you uh, brought up a great point that the problems here aren't solely just caused by things here in the country. A lot of them are. I'd say a good 80% are, but a lot of it is the world controllers, the financial elites, and we were at Bilderberg last year. They are planning a massive collapse of the entire global economy. I just put out a video on it. It's going really viral right now. Everyone should check it out. Uh, you'll have a link to it down below in your notes. Uh, but uh, I'm expecting a complete chaos, collapse, and crisis this year to happen this year by October of this year. There are people controlling these things. They do want certain things to happen and I say in the video that it's it's likely that they want to cause complete economic yeah. collapse, a lot like here in Venezuela. This might even be a test case. Uh, and then to uh, bring in a new, uh, bring in essentially what they have here in Venezuela all over the world. More gun laws, more rules, more regulations, military, uh, 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 martial law, all those sort of things. Capital controls, travel controls. Jeff, thank you so much for your wealth of information. We're seeing everything happen here on the front lines with the suitcases of money that you need just to buy basic necessities as we know after the 2008 financial crisis it was never fixed it was just paid over with more lies and more bullcrap it's only a matter of time the United States keeps printing and inflating the currency as well it's only a matter of time for the truth to come out I know the bill of goods those Cardiff boys sell you oh you got something against clean drinking water Apparently.